welcome welcome once again welcome back if you are old and you're very much welcome if you are new and if you are meeting me for the first time my name is Chantal Ikabe and I'm always here to pray with you and to share God's word with you and today I want to share some prophetic instructions with you that came to me personally and um, I believe that they are going to bless you and guide you throughout the month of October and the remaining part of this year and also if you are watching us for the very first time I'm going to encourage you to follow us every mornings Monday to Friday 7 um, that's gonna be 7 30 MSC Denver Colorado time that is a time we always gather to pray and those prayers are really effective and they've been a blessing to us and I believe that they are going to be a blessing to you so please check on the channel and you're going to see the prayers um, on the live section join us every mornings and the Lord will richly bless you in Jesus mighty name amen let's get into these instructions um the month of october is a blessed month by the grace of god and um there's so much about this month it is loaded and i've been saying that and i just want to get straight to the instructions that i received personally this came to me pray with thanksgiving pray with thanksgiving now there is a difference um you know when you pray and then when you pray with thanksgiving the lord revealed this to me he said in this month in this time pray with thanksgiving in other words pray by faith pray with the mentality of already receiving what you've asked for rejoice in the lord rejoice in his faithfulness rejoice in his works rejoice in his goodness pray with a gratitude or mentality be grateful to god Pray with a victorious mentality. That is what the Lord is saying in this time. If you are taking a prayer point, this is how you should take it. Lord, I thank you for doing this in my life. Lord, I thank you for making it happen. Lord, I thank you for opening that door. Lord, I thank you for helping me. Lord, I'm grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Lord said that to me. Pray with that mentality. Pray with thanksgiving. The second thing that came to me, um, before I get to that part, sorry, I didn't complete this one. And it says that do that consistently as frequent as you can you can do it at least three times a day just thank god go on your knees thank god be grateful to him hallelujah and the second one has to do with making things right now there are people watching this video and this instruction is for you the lord is saying to you make things right don't allow anything to hinder you in this month if there are things you must correct if there are adjustments you must make if you must make peace, if you must forgive some people, if you must let go of bitterness, if there are some corrections you must receive, receive them. Keep pride away, keep ego away, and all of that. Don't allow anything to stop you. Don't allow anyone to block you or anything to stand on your part in this time and in this season. The Lord is saying, make things right. If he has spoken to you and you haven't obeyed, make things right. It is very important. If he's pointing out something to you and you haven't worked on it, make things right. The third thing, apply the blood of Jesus. Apply the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, that in Revelations chapter 12 and verse 11 and they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimonies and so this is what you should use even in the month of October as you pray as you meditate apply the blood of Jesus I got that so clear in my spirit some of us we are faced with heavy warfare pray applying the blood of Jesus it's going to work for you. It's going to speak for you in this month and in this time. And as this year comes to an end, pray and apply the blood of Jesus. Maybe there's a curse that you are faced with. Maybe there's some form of, um, you know, ill luck. And we rebuke that in Jesus' mighty name. Some form of rejection or things that are not normal. Things that are not in line with the will of God happening in your life, in your family. Apply the blood of Jesus. Maybe you're watching this video and you are afraid there is fear in your heart because you received a report that is not good there is fear in your heart concerning the future apply the blood of jesus cancel that fear pray and plead the blood there is power in the blood of jesus the bible says the blood of jesus speak better things than the blood of abel that is one greatest weapon that every one of us should use even daily even daily as we pray and you can also take the communion 
Take the communion. It's very powerful and effective. Apply the blood of Jesus in that situation, in that condition. And the fourth thing has to do with make a move of faith. He said to me, make a move of faith. Some of us, <clears throat> we pray, but we don't believe in the prayers because we don't take actions. We pray and then we sit back and we make no moves, no actions. The Lord is saying, make a move of faith. Take a step of faith. Do something, you know, like go out of what you are seeing in other words. Don't limit yourself just to what you can see. Don't limit yourself just to what is available to you as a person physically. Come out of the box. Take a step of faith. Go outside. Do something like, you know, get something that is related to what you are praying for. Make a move. Make a move. Don't just pray and sit. Make a move. Do something. That is what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. These are the words that came so strongly to me. And I thought of sharing them with you. I believe this is going to help and guide you. Even in this new month. I always say this. When it comes to prayers. It is very powerful. It is very effective. But there are other things we must do as well. Prayers cannot take the place of commitment. It cannot take the place of principles. And so there are things that must be done. So make a step of it. The Lord richly bless you. And I pray for grace upon you in this season, in this time, in this month, that whatever be the desires of your heart, you will see them come to pass. This month it shall not pass you by, by his mercy and by his grace. In Jesus' name, the Lord will greatly help you and his face will shine upon you. The Lord will continue to guide and lead you. And I pray also against any form of confusion that is rising up. Let it go by the power of the Holy Spirit and may the Lord guide and lead you and give you clarity in Jesus' name. May he make a way where there seems to be no way. And may you receive help in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. If this was a blessing, please don't hesitate to go on and share the video right now with a friend and with a loved one. I believe it's going to be a blessing to them. And also like it. Subscribe if you are new. You are welcome to join the family. Love you. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And I hope to see you in another one by his special grace.